Anglerfish have long been famous for the way they attract their prey. These slow moving creatures have developed a way to make their food come to them using what is essentially a built in baited fishing rod extending from their foreheads, conveniently bringing their food right to the entrance of their mouth. This fishing rod is actually a modified fin and at its tip dangles an esker, which acts like a lure, imitating their prey's favorite foods, such as marine worms or smaller fish. In deep sea species of anglerfish, the lure even lights up. The glow is created by a group of bioluminescent bacteria living symbiotically on the esker. But when it comes to quirky traits, deep sea anglerfish have plenty more beyond just having fishing rods coming out of their foreheads. We now know that many deep sea anglerfish engage in a unique reproduction technique called sexual parasitism. The males who are dwarfed by their female counterparts that average 10 times larger physically attach themselves to the female. In the case of the deep sea anglerfish, once they become one, they stay that way permanently. It starts with male biting into the female's flesh. He hangs on until his skin tissue eventually fuses with hers. In time, their circulatory systems also connect. The male, now completely dependent on the female for all its nutrients, will live and die when the female does. But until then, what occurs between the two, well now one, is a cycle of repeated reproduction. Or as the scientists described it, the host female becomes a kind of self-fertilizing hermaphrodite. It's hard to decide which has it worse, the male resigned to an inescapable life of reproductive servitude, or the female forever stuck in the world's most clingy relationship. 